I came up into the uh, shops today, I've got myself some new materials for my um, uh, cell that I'm going to make to make uh, hydrogen. What I've bought is a uh, decent glass um, jar, which the other one was plastic and it had a clip down lid, which was not good enough to keep in the air. And this is a nice screw down one metal lid glass jar, so I'll drill the holes in that ready for the uh, pipe work to go into. Some decent uh, um, washers, uh, rubber rings to keep the seals nice and tight from the screws going into it. Got some plates so I already had in the shed anyway. These are stainless steel sheets of metal which I use for the actual cell itself. Um, and some sealant in case I needed it. Super glue in case again if I needed it. And some nuts and bolts to keep all things together um, for the wiring etc. So we'll start building soon and uh, go from there. Okay I've just done, done my first bit. I've drilled a hole through this lid and I've put a washer either side of the uh, lid and glued them on and I've just clamped them. Should be dry by now, so I should remove this clamp. And uh, as you can see, I hold them all with the, with the uh, washer on one side, washer on the other one. So I'll put the pipe through that and then and obviously that pipe be sealed as well. So it's a nice tight seal on that. Got the next day, it's drilled two holes here and here to the side for the electrodes to go through. The next day. Okay, I've drilled my uh, two holes for the electrodes to go through. I'm using two long bolts like this. Going through, they'll be using washers to keep the uh, seal in place, and that's where my uh, power will go through. Okay, I've glued on my uh, remaining washers. Again, one each for the electrodes to go through the jar, and one for the outlet pipe for the uh, gas to come out of. I've done the same both sides, inside and out of the jar lid. They're glued down at the moment, but they'll be sealed as well around the edges just to make sure. Okay, I've made my um, array of uh, cells drawn together. Uh, the bottom row is going to be the positive, uh, top of the negative, uh, as the positive is what attracts the uh, hydrogen. Um, so I'll uh, put these together now. Now they're all wired up. Prior to putting these cell. um, cells together, I've put some uh, uh, epoxy adhesive on each joint because um, due to this chemical process, the uh, wires are prone to corrode very quickly and this will just um, make this cell last a bit longer. Uh, so they're drying now, and hopefully put them together in a minute. Okay, I've made the cells put together, uh, all wired up together. I'll give a quick test just to see if it's um, if it actually bubbles. Uh, there's my space in between. So it goes uh, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, seven cells. We'll give it a go. <coughs> Okay, attach my wires. Just give it a dunk in the water. Just attach it first. And we'll see if this starts to bubble. Okay, as you can see, oh, I'll have to put my fuse in my, uh, no, I Yep, my um, char battery charger can take this, but it is bubbling. I'll try again in a minute. Okay, I'll just get the 6 volt battery to it, hold my charger. It's bubbling up really nicely, it's been now producing hydrogen. So the cell does work. All those bubbles come up there. Hydrogen, an option. So, I've just um, fixed my wiring down the side of the lid. Uh, I've also uh, fixed the pipe for the um, outsource of the gas to come out of. I've used resin again to seal all any gaps that might be there. That's pretty airtight now. Uh, Sweat it up dry. I'll give it a go. Okay, it's now the test. Uh, I've placed my hydro in there. Do the lid up. So it's nice and tight. So no air can get out. Very tight to me. I'll uh, put some water in my bottle. The gas to come through. Yeah, we're all set. 
my battery. Turn it onto there. And my negative, uh, positive. And yep, got some gas coming up. It's uh, starting to bubble there, bubbling away. Hopefully in a minute, we should see some bubbles come out from this pipe. The bubbles have enough pressure. Could take a while. Give it a few minutes. Okay, we have the gas coming through now, and that is hydrogen being produced by my cell that's inside the tub. I'm going to run it on a 6 watt battery at the moment, so... That's pure hydrogen. Still bubbling away in there. We can uh, put a balloon on top to see if we can catch some of this helium gas and harness it. Could take a while. I might put some more water in there first, actually. Make it a bit quicker. Okay, I've just attached my uh, car charger uh, to the actual uh, battery as well, and it's given a lot more bubbles. And the balloon just popped up. It's now slowly inflating. I do have a slight leak though on the, on the lid here, I've noticed. So uh, that's not good. I may have to wear this like that. There's a bubble that's coming through there for some reason. See some more sealant on that. It's pumping away there, some bubbles for me. Well, because I'm losing pressure there, the balloon won't inflate that much, unfortunately.